also don't know what trip miss is, it is when the pen god himself, the god of pendulums, posts twice a day. So if you haven't already, go check out the last video I posted earlier today. Seven negate combo tutorial, Zephyr, Guard Dragon, and Demion. This video is the deck profile. Enjoy greatness, and you know what? Hit that subscribe button, because your boy's back on the grind. All right, expect daily videos, or maybe even more than daily videos, every single day. That literally made no like sense. Like trip English should actually be a thing. I should actually learn English. Anyways, enjoy the video. This is Sarman, and see you guys at the end of the video. And hey, maybe trip miss comes three times a day. Who knows? Trip miss, baby. Let's go. I love what I do. I love what I do. I can't believe I didn't post for two weeks. I'm so happy I'm ready to start posting again. All right, enjoy greatness. But just look at it. Look at it. Fucking perfection. Absolute perfection. As you saw in the other video, I just posted seven negates. You think that shit was an accident? Boy, that shit no accident. That shit's easy. That shit's every single turn. Now, I'll explain all the card choices. Nothing in this deck list is negotiable. Don't try acting all cute and shit. Oh, Cerberus can get Ash. I'm going to take it out. That's why you play Infinity Other Turbo cards. Because if you draw one of them in conjunction with the Cerberus, <coughs> you, they lose an Ash for nothing. Okay, don't debate anything. Don't say we're going to the oh, 50 cards. Play this list card for card, no matter what. Download link in the description, okay? So you can test it for yourselves, whip your opponents, understand that I'm the greatest pendulum and Yu-Gi-Oh! mind in the planet. So don't debate anything in this list. Just play it for itself. Don't change one single card. It's been tested by the greatest player in, in humankind. Okay. Uh, anyways, okay, let's start. Three Servants, three Abductor, non-negotiable. You play so many spell cards, and a lot of these spell cards, look at this. Terraforming equals two spells, plus you play a scale, you get three. Right? So look how many one card, uh, three counters there are. Spell power mastery, because the scale always counts as one. So you only need two, one card, two spells, right? So three mastery gets you two counters. The third counter is a scale. So three it gets two, three cards, four, five, so rotation, six, uh, three, seven, providence, nine, and the draw cards will give you another uh, a spell card, four. That's 13, one card, three counters, if that makes sense. So it's not negotiable. You must play three abductor, three servant, and three mastery. That's nine. Nine of these, you open it, you just win. Um, not a Cerberus. Why? Like, I understand it gets Ash, but that's why you play 10 Foolishes, which I'll explain later why. Three Chrono Goss, 13. Draw one of those 13 in a 46 card deck because you got Upstarts and Into the Voids, which you also must play, which I'll explain later. Then if they Ash your Cerberus, they lose an Ash. You just activate Chrono Goss. No one will summon anything. Electro. Good game, sir. Good game. It's over. Uh, scoop it up. Goodbye. Peace. Uh, au revoir. Sayonara. Sayonara. Whatever the trip was Spanish. Okay, so don't play, don't not take out Cerberus, all right? Uh, just the best Ash bait. You, you play all these turbo cards and extenders for baits. Uh, yeah, Droll hurts this deck. Okay, but are you gonna, uh, that's like saying, oh, you know what hurts, uh, you know what hurts Thunder Dragons? Uh, this card, Skull Servant. Skull Servant is so good. Whereas, oh, chirp, no chirp. The Skull Servant is realistically the best. No, like, bro, Skull Servant does nothing, right? Droll does nothing. Uh, no, sorry, let me, let me re rephrase that. Skull Servant isn't in any deck. That's good. No good players play Skull Servant. Okay? But what if Skull Servant said auto win versus Thunder Dragons? But what if only 1% of players played Skull Servant? Would you just stop playing Thunder Dragons? Right? Like, no one on this planet that's good plays Droll and Lockbird. Only idiots play Droll and Lockbird. So, why the hell would you play a card that no one plays? And why would you not play cards in your deck that no one plays? So why would you play around cards that no one plays to no one plays, no one plays? Okay. Trip English. All right. Next. Uh, the three corner gap, like I said, three Dark Worm. You need Guard Dragons in this combo. If you guys saw the video, the commentary I posted a few hours ago, you need them. If you don't open that, we play 10 and I still don't draw it a lot of the times. So you have 13 ways to get the Dragons. 14 if you have the Pseudo of Autumn and Count. That's like a sucky way. 10 Dragons, three Dark Worms, you have 13 Dragons. In a 46 card deck, because you play four upstarts, which you also I'll explain those later. You must see one. You must see it. You can't rely on Electrum sending a Dark Room. Because if you don't open one of those 13, an Electrum gets a uh, Baylor during permanence. You're going to end on some shitty ass board and cry. You need to see one of them. The whole deck's revolved around it. If you don't see it, you're going to end up getting just literally, like maybe, no, honestly, you're just going to end up with uh, Jackals and, and Demions. Uh, right, it just went deep. Like Zephyrus cannot. You no one in the planet can play Zephyrus. Okay, and a divine strike, but that's not enough. Like if you want four plus negates, you need guard dragons. And I'm not playing a deck in the ever in history that doesn't put up at least four negates. 
Uh, because what what are you well, like fucking Jeremy Mitchell? You put up one a gate, call it a day. Anyways, uh, next two jackal, way better than Garuda. Okay, the only reason I'd ever play Garuda is because Mystic Mind. But you side a Garuda for Mystic Mind or Spell Trap decks only. Okay, I'll explain the whole side deck. There's a reason to Black Garden. There's a reason to Garuda. There's a reason to Centrix. There's a reason to everything. I'll explain it later. Uh, one in big and demon is all you need. Okay, you do not play Desires in this deck because if you uh, that means you have to play more traps. This Zari is obviously good, but what happens if you have to do it off the bat and banish your one-ups? Like, look how many one-ups you need to play. You need to play two Zephyr Nui's, more bricks. Two Divine Strikes, more bricks. Banish Mirama or Desudo, you cry. And less of, less negates. Uh, like, you can banish your negate, you're like, what do you even... Like, the Zari ends up doing nothing for you. Banish your gazer, no. Banish this, banish both your Zephyrahs. Banish you get both uh, your targets for start rotation. Banish a gate zero, banish your Jackals, banish your Demon. Like, banish your, your negate in Aether. You're getting a free negate with Heratic. So... Desires is not good in Guard Dragon decks, especially not this deck. Uh, people will play anyways because it's just a great card in itself. Not in this list. Don't play in this list. It forces you to play more bricks. Which you don't, if you play a deck with a shit ton of one-offs, it's like playing in Spirals. Why the fuck would you play Desires in Spirals? Uh, next, one gate zero because you never pen summon it. It's your low skill forever and ever and ever. So you only need one. You're never going to pen summon the second one. You don't need to play two. One's all you need. Next, Aether, 10 times better than Sloth as a Dragon target. Or as a guard, uh, the Heretic Seal target. So the end board, if you guys know, you guys saw it, if you guys haven't seen my video first, I'll post it in the description, go check it out first, comment tutorial. And then seven negates, one of which is being Heratic Seal, which counts as two, because it's gonna have non-target bounce, which is better than a negate. So five negates and two non-target bounce and banish. And then well, they're gonna think you're playing slot. So they're gonna put two monsters, they're gonna attack seal, they ha ha, slot, ha ha, we're good, we're good. And you're gonna use seal to bounce back one of the garbage cards, and then you're gonna bring out Aether to banish the other. So you get a good use out of it, especially because they always expect a slot. Uh, next two Zephyr, you don't need to play three. You don't want to oh, uh, play way too much Zephyr cards. A lot of times, you, if you play too many Zephyr cards, you go with four Zephyrs and cry and do nothing. Two Zephyr, that's all you need. One Zephyr Nui, one uh, Zephyr Wendy. I was thinking about, which is something hilarious, like Zephyr Wendy, Zephyr Endy. <laughs> dad joke, Zephyr and Demion, get it? Like, dad joke, like, roll, like that, okay. Uh, so you play only two scale sevens. Uh, you don't need to play a scale one. It's an option to play a scale one. You can if you really want to. But I opted to go a little brick as possible, the most consistent list in the world. And uh, I'm not joking, you get zero every single turn. Like, what are they, like, there's no way around it. Uh, there's no way around you not getting a Dark Worm in your turn. And if not, you have your nine, your, your servants, your abductors, and your small power masteries, right? And the skill fours could all pretty much low skills sometimes, most of the time. Not most of the, sometimes in the deck. If you have access to Dark Worm, then a skill four becomes a low skill. Maybe you could normal summon the Dark Worm or something like that. All right. Uh, next, and Zephyr Wendy, you need a, you need, a, the reason why I don't play two Zephyr Nui is you need any Zephyr card like a normal summon. A lot of the times you're going to be forced to, let's say, you don't have access to Servant. You're going to have a Turbo card, like a, a Servant's Corning Graph, Foolish, whatever. But you're going to need a normal summon, you don't have access to normal summon. But now all your Zephyr cards, which you play two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, gets you a Zephyr Wendy. So... And uh, sometimes you're going to need that normal summon. The, the searchable normal summon, trust me, it comes up a lot for Zephra. And if you get two Zephra, no, two Zephra, you don't have it. So you just need the one. And it needs to be skill seven. Because, uh, trust me, and then in the long term, uh, like if you really want to play a, a skill one for a long, like long term duel, but uh, you don't need it, trust me. You, uh, you, if they pop the gate zero, the next stop, usually you end up with a servant or abductor in hand, anyways. Uh, as like a follow up uh, with the lecture or whatever. Uh, giving you a pen your whole hand. Uh, but trust me, you don't need it. Uh, Gazer, just because you need it. One Distrudo, one Mare Mare. Going second is like auto win with Mare Mare. Just another way to win. Uh, three Spell Power Mastery, obviously. Uh, ten Fool Witches. I'll explain why you need it. I already did, actually. If you have a, uh, ears, you'll know. Uh, you need Dark Worm every turn. It's not negotiable. You need it. So you play one Fool Witcher, Witcher 9. Oh, if you draw, draw double, it doesn't matter. You got six Ravines to discard it. You need to see these cards. If you, I don't care drawing two or three, it's fine. Uh, I did a hand earlier. I don't know if I showed... No, I don't think I showed it. Maybe I'll pull it up later in the video. Maybe it was a duel. I had uh, two Foolishes and a... No, I had a, two Ravines, a Mare Mare, a Foolish. So, like, four cards. Like, a Foolish, double Ravine, a Mare Mare, and a Turbo card. A Chronograph, I forgot. And I turned that hand into five negates. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter. If you open one, you're good. The other three cards don't matter. In fact, they're for Ash Bait. Shrine, Ash, sure. Ravine, you're good. Right? Having so many different ones makes ashing these, ashing shrine when you have no turbo cards fucking hurts. So now that'll never happen ever. And the terraforming and, and again, more spell counters was the main reason you played all these. 
more spell counters, more turbo cards, more all that. Double terraforming and rotation gives you three terraforming, which gives you uh, Orca Zephyr, which is huge. I think there's a new terraforming, which I would play, but I completely forgot that shit existed. They played a Mystic Mine. What's it do? Uh, field spell. I swear there's a new one. Oh, never mind. Oh, it's only okay. It's only one uh, going second. It's one of your points for some of the monsters. That's shit. Okay, that's not even new. Anyways, okay. Uh, so yeah, you play these three, so now you have the option of five Oracle Zephyrs as well. Uh, Zephyr Providence equals two counters in itself, so I prefer that over Oracle of Zephyr. And uh, so which why we play three Zephyr Providence over the Oracle of Zephyr, and you end up having five Oracle of Zephyr or eight Searchers. More than enough. You can play the, the next card to add in is a third Oracle of Zephyr, but you just don't need it. And in terms of taking stuff out of the deck, I can't. It's just too perfect. I can't take anything. Three into the void. It's like a fourth upstar goblin. Never will it ever be dead. Ever. Ever. There's no turn two in this deck. There's no turn two. What's your point doing the seven negates? Like, they're scooping. They have, they have six cards. They have six cards. There's no turn two. You have seven negates and they have six cards. Okay? Going second. What? Into the void. You have six cards. Obviously, into the void. Oh, you're solving. There's no... There's not 2013 Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay? Maybe it'll go to turn two or three. Into the void's always resolving. Trust me. In Endymion, it is not negotiable. It's four upstar goblins. It's a free counter, a free draw. Counter. Okay. Anyway, next. One divine strike. You don't need to play more. Side deck. Three sphere mode, two lava golem. All you don't need to decide. You can just win anyways. You don't need to side deck. But these are just by far the best. You don't ever need a normal summon. These are by far the best. Next card I'll put in will be a six lava golem. They're amazing against thunder, uh, mirror, etc. Eccentric, Mystic Mind's an old, the only problem because you don't have Dragon Pit anymore. With no Magicians in here, there's no Dragon Pit. So, we play Eccentrics because Abductor can search one Eccentric and you want a few more random outs anyways. We just threw in a second Eccentric for options sometimes against decks that like, uh, monster decks that like one monster card to destroy you. Let's say a deck that puts up Sloth or something, just normal Eccentric, buy, peace, good game. Uh, one Garuda, because Cerberus searches it. Now you have so many searchers in the deck that out um, Mystic Mind. Black Guardian out Mystic Mind. Because uh, they get monsters from the Black Garden effect, the tokens, which are fucking amazing. So you now have four ways to get it. So now, if you look at these four, you can only play one Eccentric if you need to, but I just wanted more outs to, like, by itself to ensure a victory. But you can always take out a second Eccentric for a third Lava Golem, which is something I was debating doing as well. But now look at this. With Look how many outable uh, options you have now, okay? So th Abductor Searches Eccentric, which you're going to get so easily in, in Mystic Mind fucking turn 500 duels. Uh, three outs in Abductor, right? Because it Searches Eccentric. Cerberus searches Garuda, so four, uh, you have six. Uh, and the big Endymion, because you summon a Jackal and it gets counters in, in infinitely timed because Mystic Mind doesn't negate the effect to add counters, only negates activated effects. So getting counters from Cerberus or Jackal doesn't activate, so you just act, it's for Endymion for free. And Endymion is a pop effect activates the scale. So that's uh, another way to get rid of it. So three, six, seven. Uh, Spell Power Mastery ends up getting the big Endymion, so that's uh, 10. Was there 3, 6, 7, 10, uh, 13, because of Field Spells get the outs, and now uh, Black Garden is out, 14, Guru is out by itself, 15, and the double side is 17. Yeah, uh, twin Twist Series after signing, so you have 20. So after signing, you have 20 outs to Mystic Mind. Two fucking zero. 20 in a 46 card deck, because you're keeping the draw cards in. So in a 46 card, almost half your out, half the cards you draw after siding, outs Mystic Mind. Hence why Mystic Mind's fucking garbage. And then you don't even, you just pop Mystic Mind three times and they lose. The goal, don't even attempt to win. Just pop Mystic Mind three times and they'll scoop. That's all you gotta do. Don't worry about anything else. And reboot because it's fucking reboot. Uh, it just destroys everything, this whole side deck. Okay, extra deck. Uh, it's made in order of the combo. So Electrum, first you make Electrum, then you make... Uh, uh, yeah, then you make LP. Then you make Dribble Burst Dragon with Electrum and the Random Monster. Then you make Agar Pain with the Strudel that comes out. And then you make uh, Vortex from Agar Pain. Then the Heretic Seal. And then the Strudel with the Random Monster makes uh, Dragster. And that's all you, need for, all you need for going first. Just those seven. You don't need anything else. Other negates are the Jackal and the Demon and the Divine Strike. They're the main deck. Next, you have eight cards for going second. So there's plenty of space in this deck. Uh, well, I, actually, I'm going to do take out Ningirsu for any link to that goes downwards. Uh, just anything. Doesn't matter. So you get a free link just for like the long run. So just a random link too that's like sideways. That's it. You don't need Ninja Gersu. And all, the whole Nightmare Package, the Royal Package, Link Rebo, Yazi from Mirror Mirror, and then uh, just the thing that goes like this. Anything. Or you can take it for Ninja Gersu. It doesn't matter. You have so much space in this extra deck. Uh, and it really, you can do anything you want. But all you need going first is these. 
Oh, there's no dweller in the deck? You, the only level points you got, so Doctor and Dark Room, shut the hell up. Yeah, this deck's perfect. Uh, it always resolves you win. The deck's amazing. So, if you guys like this video, subscribe and uh, stay tuned. I might be posting a third video today, and by might, I mean I am. It's a bunch of duels with this deck, wrecking everyone. So, hope you guys like the video. Subscribe. See you in the next video. Peace. That's a deck football, guys. Absolutely amazing. Try it for yourselves. I'm putting the download link in the description below. So, go test this deck up for yourselves. It's absolutely remarkable. Hit the subscribe button. And hey, stay tuned again for later tonight because maybe Triff Miss comes three times a day. Who knows? See you guys later tonight. Peace.